Chow Chin Chow, Slancer and Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Vault Light 2 Yes Lock. In the last episode, we made it right here to Undella Bay. And we went through the Reversal Mountain and the Strange House too. We didn't deal with Darkrai, and I'll tell you why. It's level 68, that's why. We're not dealing with that just yet. I mean, I don't really know if I'm going to be around those levels in this game. And I don't know if I want to deal with it just yet. Because, you know... You know, things just don't obey Smog and Sleep Claws when they want to. And then Darkrai is guaranteed to have Dark Void. Anyway, let's take a look at my team rather quickly. Everyone is level 53 or 54, there's about. So we start with uh, Jolly Arcelio with um, level 53 with Aurora Beam, Blizzard, Rest and Surf. Then we have ACDC, our Zapdos, level 54 with Thunderbolt, Discharge, Fly and Ancient Power. Then we have RKO, the Arcanine, with Thunderfang, uh, Close Combat, uh, Firefang, and Strength. I have the TM for Flamethrower, and I'm considering, give it to, uh, considering giving it to him, because the fact is, his special attack is way better than his physical attack, so I might do that. I honestly might do that. Then we have uh, Bill and Ben hanging out at the back of the party, basically... Trying to get Bill and Ben to a high dragon is really hard, but we've been trying to do it for the past couple of episodes, and I still really want that high dragon. So they got the lucky egg. They're almost there, but like it's going to be a couple more levels left before then, about five or six, actually. But anyway, we have Strength, Ice Fang, Dragon Pulse, and Body Slam. The thing is about high dragon is, it turns a complete 360 when it evolves into high dragon. It's... As Sir Wireless, it's a physical attacker, but as Hydragon, it's a, quite a special attacker too. And of course, Hustle is the thing we have to deal with too, so not really liking it. Anyway, uh, then we have Kevin, our um, uh, level 54, uh, what are you? Excel Gore, that's it. I keep on forgetting what you are with U turn, Bug Buzz, Giga Drain, and Power Swap. Let Power Swap by level up. I don't really like it. It's one of those things that I'm going to have to be burdened with with some of these uh, Yastop rules as to these level up moves that I don't really want to ever use. So, you know, kind of annoying with them. And then we have Super Level 54 with uh, Thunderbolt, Grass Knot. I gave it Surf as uh, to be a bit, a bit more differential. Uh, but the fact is, also, it's a Volt Tackle. I'm not a big fan of Recall moves, and it's not really the best. I got rid of Thunder, Bo uh, Thunder Wave for it, and I'm not really ecstatic that I did it, really, but uh, we'll see what happens. we got a rival fight coming up, so I'm a little scared. But I think I'm going to lead with ACDC. And I'm going to give you the experience share, if anything. Because I do want a Wall Rain. And I don't, I don't, it's, it's not that I don't trust Jolly just yet, it's just, I don't, well, it's actually exactly that, actually. It's exactly that, I don't trust Jolly yet. Wait up! Let's see how well we've raised our Pokemon. Alright. Yeah, I sort of knew we had a rival fight coming up, so I'm a, I got leveled up for this, and I'm a little scared of it, to tell you the truth. Chips' Pokemon are quite scary. So he starts with a Swellow. We're starting with Zapdos. I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt, but uh, we'll see what happens. Flassard. That does a lot of damage and would do a lot more if you were paralyzed or uh, poisoned. Nice. So Thunderbolt does everything that I need it to. Flygon coming in. I have nothing for this. Right now, because Jolly is technically an answer, but she's not ready yet. And I don't really have anything else. Uh, Kevin? Right, it's grounded flying. I don't know if Kevin is a good idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. My worry is that he knows a rock type move. Well, I could just, I could just U turn out. That's always an idea. 
Um, and see how much damage that does. It did decent damage. Um, who's got the most defense? Because it might have to live in outrage. Uh, they both... I think ACDC is the best Pokemon for this. I really do. Yeah, that's the outrage. Oh, I lived your life orb. I gotta heal. I gotta heal. Do I have hyper potions? I do. Cool. I can get a full heal then. If he crits me, I'm dead. But I have to hope that he doesn't do it. Okay, that one didn't do as much damage, and it seems to be a two hit, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to heal again. Uh, but this time I only need to use a mirror milk. Because I can't take another hit. I need you to hit yourself, if anything. Of course I don't get that option. I can't keep trying to task you out. I need to hit I need you to hit yourself, if anything. Because I can't take these hits. Oh, of course you snap out of confusion and just go for it. Well, I'm just going to have to go for you, aren't I? Oh! Okay, he hits himself with confusion there, but I don't outspeed this thing! And you're healing! My fly does a lot of damage, but not enough. Are you still confused? You are. Hit yourself, come on. Oh, come on. I needed to hit. I needed you to hit yourself again. Oh, I can't keep doing this. I really can't. I need you to hit yourself. If anything, I need you to hit yourself. That life orb just damages me so much. Hit yourself. Thank you. Right. Now I can get a fly off. Snaps out confusion again. Oh. Okay. Okay, it's down. That was a bit scary. Samawat coming in. Uh, super. Flygon is something I really need to figure out a way of dealing with. At this moment in time, I don't really have one, but like... As soon as we get a wall rain, we might be able to deal with it. But then again, speed is a thing, and wall rain is not speedy. It's tanky. But it's not speedy, and that's my problem with it. So I'm not really sure if it's the best idea. Right, so he's he's going into uh, he's going into Roserade. I'm going into RKO. This is his final mon, I think. Okay, intimidate nicely, and oh, you have white smoke, so the white herb, so yeah. Nah, that's going to be annoying to do with. Fire Fang, come through! Yeah! I wasn't entirely sure because of the fact that his physical attack is not as good. Oh, Electrike. He does have another Pokemon. I don't have anything to deal with this. So that's the problem. Electrike is one of those mons that is actually kind of scary. Kevin? I kind of need you to bug buzz here. That would be the plan. 
and see how much damage that does. Not as great as I wanted it to do, believe me. With this thing having no real weakness, it's really hard to uh, deal with it. I resist that, though. Oh, it's a two hit. Nice. Good work, Kevin. I couldn't draw out my own team strength. How pathetic. Great. If we're this strong, Team Plasma will run when they, it runs screaming when they see us. I won't let them get away though. Her purloin, I'll get it back for sure. So Joanne, keep helping me out and continue to work hard on that Pokedex. You're the one who was officially asked to complete it after all. Yeah, about that. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> but I am healing, that's what I'll tell you for free. I think we might need to get in, I think we can get an encounter here in the in Undella Bay by surfing, so we should probably do that. And then we there's a route below and a route above as well if we need to, but um, let's see what we get here. And then I think there's a route to the side as well, but I'd rather save that for when we're going for the eighth gym. My encounter for the Undella Bay? That's dupes! <laughs> as much as I would like it over my champ, I can't do that. Alright, my encounter for the actual Undella Bay, round two here. Okay, Bagon! Okay. Okay, bag on. Okay. I am okay with this. Do you want to come with me? Or am I going to have to fight you? Because you're level 30 and I'm level 54. I don't know if I can fight you. Tur oh. Don't you leer me. Can I fight you? I'm not even sure how I would fight you. You're level 30. Get in the ball. One. Oh, I'm gonna have to, I might have to fight you. See, it's just a Bagon though, that's my thing. It's, it worries me because it's a Bagon. Yeah, it, it has already leered me too, so I'm not so sh... It's leered and focus energy. One, two, three. Oh, I thought I had him for a sec there. Oh, that does nothing. So much for the leer focus energy combo. Would you live in Ancient Power if I had to hit you at one? Uh, that's, a, that's a free one. Right, I'm going to throw one more ball and then I'm going to Ancient Power and see what happens, okay? One, two, three. Oh, I got him. I got him. Bagon is mine. All right, cool. I don't know what to call you though. I mean it's another dragon it's another dragon, so Uh Again, I don't know. Ender. It's like an Ender Dragon, so yeah. Okay, so we have a Flygon. Kind of cool Pokemon. I'll put that in PC for the moment in time, and I guess we'll head on. There's another route down here. Which would be nice to get an encounter for. This is Route 14. I think I have to face you if I want to get to the grass, so I'm going to have to face you. 
All right, what do you have for me? Lapunny. Okay. I'm a little scared of Lapunnies, but I think we should be okay. Uh, Thunderbolt does how much? Oh, almost. Dizzy Punch is going to confuse me now. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, there's a chance of confusion then. Nice. I will take that. Alright, so next route. My encounter for route 14 is... Oh, hello Seahorse. Nice of you to join me from the Hugo series. Do you want to come with me now or am I going to have to fight you? I mean, you'd probably live in ancient power being at level 40. One. Twister is the worst dragon type move in the game. Would you live in ancient power? You do. Brine, no. Oh my god, that was a crit. Okay, we heal, we heal, we heal, we heal, we heal. I am not losing my Zapdos. Not today. Now we throw a ball. Come with me, Seahorse. One, two, Lantern Joe. I got a Seahorse. There we go. I am okay with this. And yes, I am going to name you Seahorse. I could name him Of Course. <laughs> yeah. Because he's a... Uh, get it? He's a horse. So, Of Course. <laughs> but, nah, nah. Seahorse. I do need more water types, so I'm actually pretty happy with that encounter. What's the side of here? Ooh, big pearl! That's money! That is nice! Alright. We've got one more route we can get an encounter on. Route above would be nice to get a decent encounter for. And then... Uh, that's the way we need to go, too, so... We might as well go up there now. Slowly avoid the trainers. My encounter for Rap 13 is a Wobbuffet. Why oh why? You just seem to you just seem to want to ruin my day, don't you, Wobbuffet? Just get in the ball. Three. There we go. It's a warp effect. It understands. It understands. I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call you May. Don't ask why. Just gonna call you May. Ah. So we have a wob effect. Nice. I'm going to try and avoid as many trainers as possible so we can, you know, in the pursuit of progress. Do I have repels just in case we have to run through any more grass? Like any, any repels at all. Any. Any at all. Of course not. <laughs> No, 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 I do, I do, I do. I have nine. I have nine repels. Okay, cool. I almost thought I didn't for a sec there. What's in this house over here? 
Hmm. I'm really annoyed by what Team Plasma said in the past. So I live with Pokemon. Without putting them inside my Pokeballs. But this Pampor doesn't listen to me at all. The creation of Pokeballs made it possible for everyone with Pokemon. Yes, uh, yes, everyone. Okay. I mean, you really, f it makes you really think about like whether Pokeballs were a good idea or not. Really, sometimes uh, with with Team Plasma and stuff like that. In a way, it's sort of like Peter. You know, they think uh, us having animals as a pet is uh, sort of wrong. I mean, I'm okay. I like having pets. I'm a huge fan of... I mean, I I have cats at home. Well, I used to have cats. And my brothers have cats. And if I had my own place where I was allowed pets, I'm not allowed pets here. But if I had a place where I was allowed pets, I would have a cat. I'm a cat guy. Uh, my brother, uh, I also have a brother who has dogs, and they like dogs. Here's Carbalion, just standing here. I'm a little scared of it, to tell you the truth, but... We could definitely get, we could definitely take it on. But it is just another encounter, it is, would... It would be just another token, so I don't really know if I want to take it on. That's my thing. It's like, do I want, like, should I leave him until I need him? Because right now I don't need him. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to leave him until I need him. We don't need him just yet. Hey there, Joanne. Hee <laughs> hee. I use fly, so I beat you. It looks like I beat you here. Yeah, you cheated. I don't have fly. Well, I do have fly, but I haven't been here yet, so I can't fly here. You can. You've been here, like two years ago, so you can still fly here. Thank you for your help in Reversal Mountain. If you go straight past Lacanosa Town, you'll reach uh, Opelucid City. But before you go there, uh, there's something I want you to hear. What is it? Uh, you'll soon know enough. Hurry now. Okay. Ah, uh, you must be the ones who want to hear the old story of Lacanosa Town. That's right. Please tell us. Come in, my dearies. Please. All right. Okie dokie. Whatever this story is, it may be quick because I'm running out of time if I want to try and get another encounter before the end of this episode. Behind Lacanosa Town, there's a big, mighty hole. Have you ever heard of the giant chasm? I heard of that. Uh, around the giant chasm, there has been a brief temperature readings of minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what Cheren told me anyway. The road there is blocked, but uh, so we can't get through right now. A long time ago, uh, when the giant, the giant chasm was created, when a big meteorite fell from the sky, a really scary Pokemon was inside that meteorite. A meteorite? When darkness falls over the land, this Pokemon appears. And a frigid wind follows it wherever it goes. It freezes everything around it and eats people and Pokemon. And that is why everyone is afraid. It, a Pokemon ate people? So our ancestors surrounded the town with walls to prevent that Pokemon from getting inside the town. And also we made a rule that no one must go out at night. But that's just... And that's the end of the tale. Hmm, a fascinating story. I'll add it to my records. Everyone, we should get going. Okay. I mean, I'm sure it's just a folk tale, but uh, so we don't have to worry about it. Wasn't that an interesting tale? The Pokemon's whole uh, true identity may be unknown, but the power mentioned... It's... 
in the story is incredible. I know. The power to freeze everything around it uh, and could rival the legendary dragon type Pokemon. Yes, Bianca. It's almost like Reshiram, who scorched Unova with its blazing flame long ago. By the way, do you remember the story of Reshiram? I do, yes. So you remember what I told you, like Lentimos Town. Uh, Reshiram is the legendary dragon type Pokemon that lends his power to uh, the person who recognizes it as the he recognizes as the hero who seeks the truth. Its white body uh, can for can send forth a vicious flames. Professor, do you think there's a connection between the Pokemon in the story and the po the legendary dragon type Pokemon? The meteorite. The meteorite. Reshiram was uh, revived from a rock called the Lightstone, right? Let's suppose that meteorite uh, and the one from the story are the same stone. Take into account the elements from uh, the same era were found in Dragon Spiral Tower where Reshiram was, uh, was and the giant chasm. It doesn't prove anything, but it could be another piece of the puzzle. Let's not just write it off as coincidence just yet. If your theories are true, uh, suppose it's a really strong Pokemon. What kind of reason would it have for only coming out at night? Like, does it not like sunlight or something? Is it a vampire? I'm pretty sure it's not a vampire, Bianca. Until we look into it more deeply, it's hard to say anything. But for now, I uh, now that I think about it, the name Lacanosa um, could be delivered from uh, Landorus clouds, which are clouds, uh, Landivinous clouds, which, which are clouds that resemble a net or a fence. I wonder if that name is related to any part of the story where uh, they built walls to protect the town from that Pokemon. Sorry, I rambled on a bit there, didn't I? Yes, you did. Joanne, could you ask uh, Drayden about this if you get the chance? I'm going to do a little bit of field work uh, with Bianca. Help out, okay? Sure thing! Oh, uh, just so you know, Dra uh, Drayden uh, wrestles with his Pokémon to toughen them up. Wait up, Professor Juniper! Okie dokie. I mean, I wrestle with my Pokémon too. We play SmackDown vs Raw all the time. <laughs> Not, not that kind of wrestler now, um, I'm guessing. Let's heal up and I guess we got a match with chips going up again. But before we do that, second person in a Pokemart, always talk to second person in Pokemarts. Oh, you're a technical machine shop with Blizzard, Thunder and Fire Blast. Okay. Now, if I teamed you up with the one in Mastralton City, uh, I could have, like, thing Blizzard never miss and Thunder, but never misses because uh, that, they had Rain Dance and Hail. So that'd be pretty cool, too. It would be cool, though, if Fire Blast never missed in a... So, if Fire Blast never missed under the sun. That'd be cool. I think I'm ready for this, so I should be okay. How far away are you from leveling up here, Johnny? No, uh, not uh, Jolly. Uh, 11,004. You're still quite far away. Hmm. Doesn't look like we're getting a wool rain today, but we'll see anyway. What's up? Have you seen Team Plasma anywhere around here? I heard a rumor to that effect. Here they are. Ah, for crying out loud. This troublesome bunch indeed. My curious trainers. Perhaps I should restate, uh, uh, restraint your, curios your curiosity uh, somewhat. The reason why I'm part, still part of Team Plasma is this. I want to know how the world will change. Listen. Pokemon are nature. Pokeballs are civilization. 
humans who used civil who are used to civilization don't relinquish it easily. Of course, both nature and civilization are important. But what would happen to a world taken over by Team Plasma? People would be forced to throw out their Pokeballs, a product of civilization. I want to know what that world would look like. I want to enjoy it. Shut your mouth! All I want to get back is the stolen Pokemon. Joanne, lend me a hand. You ready? Yeah, just to let you know, I'm about to unleash my rage! Alright, here we go! Team Plasma Battle! Zinzolan and a Grunt. Zinzolan has Cryogonal. And the Grunt is a Swallow. I'm not worried about the Swallow, really. I'm more worried about the Cryogonal, but I think I'm in with the right Pokemon to deal with it. Me Intimidate's rather nice, too. I think we should be okay. Fire Fang. And, oh, the hail. I don't like that one bit. Not a big fan of the hail, but we should be fine. I mean, if he's got a mono ice type team and he tries to set up using it, I'm going to be annoyed. Ooh. Oh, focus sash. I guess we have the same idea here. Nice. Level 54 for Jolly. There it is. There's the level. Okay, now we just got to survive this battle and then we'll have a wool rain. Okay. I can handle that. And you're sending out a wool rain of your own. With the rain, uh, with the hail up. I'm going to go into super. Okay, so your air slap... Again, I'm not really worried about the... If anything, I'm not really worried about the... Uh, the Swallows. I'm worried about the Wool Rain, I will admit. Oh, don't do stop. Uh, don't be acid spray tox. We are not... I am not dealing with that. We are not dealing with this again. Not again will I have to deal with acid spray stockpile setup. It's annoying. I'm going to Thunderbolt this wall rain and see if the powerful magnet plus stab is enough to kill it. Wall rains can be kind of beefy. It's not. It's definitely not. Okay. I mean, if you're going to do the exact same thing I'm doing, we double team the wall rain, then we're okay for them. We are very much okay. Nice work. There's that acid spray again. I'm not a fan of that. Who's your final Pokemon? Weavile. Well, I'm going to Thunderbolt this uh, Swallow. Because I can handle that. Wow, that's... Uh, wow, that Weavile did a lot of damage. I think it just got Life Orb too. Oh, I came so close to killing it. I'm going to have to get out of here. I'm going to have to get out of here because I cannot. The hail kills uh, the Swallow, which is nice, but I can't stay in. I really can't stay in. Flygon coming in, and I'm going to have to switch into RKO. And a Croc. Maybe RKO is not the best uh, idea here. Um, I think ACDC is the best idea then. I know that ACDC can't really hit the Croconaut, uh, but I don't really know what else to do. Ice Punch. Wow! It one-shots! Hey, Google, stop. Oh, they were double-teaming.
Okay. I mean, I'm going to Thunderbolt this Weavile. Please don't kill me! I left on 12! I left on 12! Is the hail still in effect? No. Okay, I can get the hell out of here. I can get the hell out of here. What do I go into? Okay, I... Okay. It's a resisted hit. Foul plays. I did decent damage. Get rid of this darn croc. Okay, croc's down. That's the scary Pokemon. I mean, that Weavile did a lot of damage to me with Ice Punch. And I'm not happy with it. I live a Night Slash, I think. Yeah, as long as it doesn't crit and Life Orb kills you. But if it didn't kill you, I probably would have been able to hit that Fire Fang, so I would have been fine. Yay, Jolly is evolving! Well, time has gone off, so... Uh, we'll end this episode as soon as we get out of this story. Nice! Jolly evolves into Warrain! What's with these two? I'm battling alongside Zenzol and this shouldn't be happening. Those trainers remind me of the ones two years from two years ago. More important, we must continue our search. Like that scientist said, it might be in an overlucid city. We will play again later. Hey, get back here! Alright, so... I want to try and get my encounter for this route. Before we end off today's episode. Come on. Am I still under repel? I am still under repel. Okay, so my encounter for... Okay, Yamega. Yamega. I am not in the best fight. I am not in the best shape for this fight. I'm going to heal before... I'm going to heal before we start trying to catch this thing. I'm going to heal. Okay, you get Giga Drain from level up, don't you? And you have Speed Boost, too. Now, it's a question of what I can do to you, because you're bug and flying, which means, in other words, my electrical attacks are dangerous to you, my rock attacks are dangerous to me, my fire attacks are dangerous to you, but anyway, everything I do is dangerous to you. Just get in the ball. I, I thought I had it for a sec. By the way, everything I do is dangerous to you. Please just don't be a... You know, don't be a dick and just get in the ball. Wow. I need to heal. I should say, I can't take those ancient powers and uh, that's not good. Pursuit. I'm not a fan of that, especially if you now I know that you have that. So, uh, me switching is a bad idea. Me switching is a very bad idea. Now I know you have pursuit. I guess I could use a netball on you. You might get, you might respond better to that than you do respond to ultras. One, two, Lantern Joe. 
I got it! Yeah, Mega! Okay. I don't know what to call you. Speedy! I'll call you Speedy. Alright, so I'm going to heal up here and I'm going to end the episode. So if you did enjoy today's episode, please leave a like, comment and subscribe for more. And the next episode, we will continue on our journey to Uber Lucid City by going through the Village Bridge and possibly making it to Uber Lucid City for our 7th gym badge. We're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a really interesting series. I'm going to have to... I might have to stop... I mean, we're still a bit of time off before I need to start thinking about my next series. But, you know, I'm going to have to start thinking of something in the, uh, eventually, soon enough. Anyway, if you enjoyed, you know what to do. But until next time, I'm Lance and Joe. Me to the Pokemon get to the Lazar. Everybody at Pokemon. Good night! Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And, of course, you can ring the bell and you'll be notified first... When those videos come out, you can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me, Joe, and the rest of the Lantern Nation. And of course, if you're a fan of this sort of thing, then you might like Power Zone Metal, a radio show presented by me and my brother Dan, aka the Gentleman of Metal. You can find out more information about that on PowerZoneMetal.uk. And of course, if you want to watch more videos, you can watch them by clicking in the top right and top left hand corner of this here end card. And of course, until next time, from me, Joe, and from the rest of the Lantern Nation, we'll see you again.